all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Some of that royalty. Yeah, Before we get into this video, this is what I need y'all to do. To all the people that saying Nick go live, Nick go live, Nick go live. I'm always live. If y'all can see the what the goddamn hair, yeah, the sub the goddamn hair, yeah, that's what you do. Go to twitch.tv.com, go to my channel, uh, which is Royalties World CEO. Hit my profile and simply follow me. You will see when I'm live. Yeah, they <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell y'all leave. So shout out to all y'all that are liking, commenting, and subscribing. It doesn't go unnoticed. I'm in the comments with y'all, man. I appreciate y'all because if you don't know, the way the algorithm works is you have to like the video. You have to comment and you have to subscribe. That's the only way you help the person you're watching. We don't ask y'all this for our help. We absolutely need your help. Class participation just to succeed. So we can do giveaways, you know, shit like that. Okay. I need y'all to be tuned in. Catch up mustard. All right. This video right here. A therapist wrote uh, BM, which is, you know, black man, about getting mental health. Uh, then she gets terminated. So... Apparently, it was, a, it was a question that was asked. And also, let me change my position on this camera, which what I should have did. Um, it was a question that was asked about um, mental health. And she went on a tangent of, you know, how she felt about it. And uh, yes, this got fired. Also, the reason why I do this is because YouTube and they, you know, YouTube just had a ways of how they feel as though your video ain't the way it's supposed to be. So they give you them yellow boys. No yellow boys. So that's why I do it because I know some of y'all going to ask. But anyway, the question is, so off on this one, sis, I usually rock with you. Uh, well, this ain't a question, but this is a comment. I usually rock with you, but this isn't the lead reason why older men are single. Uh, but hey, go off. So this is what led her to going off. <laughs> it appears a man has entered the chat and you're wrong. Uh, let's explore why. So let's see what we got here. Uh, so off on this one. I usually rock with you, but this isn't the lead reason why older men are single. But hey, go off. So I'm gonna go off. You know, since you asked, since you asked so nicely, I'm gonna go off. <laughs> Men are so stubborn that even a Psychology Today article that is conducted by actual researchers, you still want to argue. These aren't my words. These are the articles of research. <laughs> so despite actual statistics stating that men are actually the fuck alone because y'all refuse to expand your emotional vocabulary because bitches are not dealing with y'all horse shit anymore. Even in an article, y'all are still not believing this. I had Here's my thing. Don't nobody give a damn about that article. I just want to put that out there. But um, as a therapist, I ain't gonna lie, I wouldn't have been on here like that. I wouldn't have. There's so many. Like the fact that she didn't think, like you so smart, you dumb type shit. You know how people can be so smart that they be dumb as hell. Why would you do this, ma'am? <laughs> you know, insensitivity is not necessarily um, a therapeutic thing, you know? So I don't know how she thinks she could just be a therapist and like blatantly just <clears throat> be rude and you know to people and then publicly okay um and then to your own race friend it just don't work like that but we could just keep listening any clients that are leaving their partners because they refuse to expand then you spoke about your clients well isn't that a HIPAA law crazy <laughs> any part of themselves this podcast culture has forced y'all to believe that treating women like shit is the answer to getting women and it's given she just went through that but i'm gonna stop talking and i'm here to tell you bruh bruh that we're human beings and don't want to tolerate y'all fuck shit i.e we are okay with being childless and alone at the cost of y'all emotional abuse we okay on that no wait 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 you might be thinking but wait, I'm not abusive. 
the definition of abuse is the intentional misuse of something. By you intentionally not taking your motherfucking ass to therapy and talking about all the things that plague you, you are <laughs> neglecting your bitch. What? The definition of abuse is the intentional misuse of something. By you intentionally not taking your motherfucking ass to therapy and talking about all the things that plague you, you are <laughs> neglecting your bitch. Here's my thing. When people talk about therapy, do not get me wrong, I'm not against it. Have I ever been in it? No. I have the best therapist in the world. He's my father. And one thing he gonna do is tell me the truth, and the truth be the main thing that I need. Tell me about myself, because for some reason, I don't see it right now. The way you see it, I am not seeing it in myself, okay? So I need you to help me. Help me, nigga, okay? Now, you have somebody who will say, baby, let's go to therapy. Then you have her ass show up on the internet. I don't want to go to therapy with you, lady. Because first of all, you're not even going to have this energy in the therapy session. Okay? This n not even, like when you on the clock, she's probably a total different person. And the reason why it's, it's being projected like this is because she's been holding that in for so long. Or she just went through that. And I feel as though therapists are just as human as us. Are they not? You know what I'm saying? So, Sometimes I just feel like we need a person to tell us the brutal, brutal honesty, but I promise you she ain't doing that in that red room. You know what I'm saying? Whatever color the room is, I promise you she not doing that shit. So that comes off fake to me. Her reasoning for, um, like, they, them not going to therapy is the reason why he can't let out his emotions. And don't get me wrong, men don't. They don't tell their emotions, and they don't because women hold it against them. You know, argue with me if you want. But if a guy say, man, I'm sad today. <laughs> About what? Man, to be honest, bro, my hamster died. Niggas is going to die laughing. Like, ah, ha, you sad about a hamster? Like, you too big for that. You, you too much of a man for that. You know? And a nigga can't even be like, you know, have e emotions about that. And a woman will clown him. A man will clown him. Men get clowned in general for having feelings. So, I don't blame him for not saying nothing. I ain't gonna lie. And she's not tolerating this shit no more. You know what? I even pulled the article back up. I'm gonna read this because oh, y'all seem to not that article, know girl. words. Um, this literally says, I hear dating culture themes between women of the ages 25 and 45. They prefer men who are emotionally available, good communicators, and share similar values. Y'all don't even know how to articulate your emotions. So how the fuck are you supposed to maintain a relationship? I.e. you can't. That's why you're single. Still not convinced, boo-boo. I got another one for you. Skills deficits. For men, this means a relationship skills gap that if not addressed, i.e. in therapy, take y'all fucking asses to therapy, will likely lead to fewer dating that if not addressed, i.e. in therapy, take y'all fucking asses to therapy, will likely lead to fewer dating opportunities, less patience for poor communication skills, and longer periods of being single. I don't feel like, I don't feel like it takes therapy for you to have ownership for yourself. And no disrespect to anybody that's in therapy, but like have people, have you ever thought about just keeping it hot with yourself? The best thing that happened to me in the world was just being exposed for the person that I truly have become. I didn't know that I've become that. And when I found out who I really became, because you can be stressed out, you can be depressed and not know what the hell you doing. But when you decide I want to accept the truth about who I've become and you see who that person is, I promise you, it ain't something you want to go back to. Now, I'm a woman. I'm not a man, obviously. So I, I can't speak for men, but, you know, it's just like in this situation, just... I don't, I'm going to keep listening. Hmm. The problem for men is that emotional connection is the lifeblood of a healthy, long-term, loving relationship. Emotional connection requires skills that families are still not consistently teaching their young boys. Y'all can learn the shit in therapy. That's why I keep telling y'all this shit. You wonder why older men go for younger women? Because older women are not tolerating y'all horse shit. But now we're seeing the gap e closed even more. Y'all need to stop listening to these male podcasters who are sad that their dads didn't. I can't disagree with her on that one. These male podcasters ain't shit. Return with the milk. <laughs> they not. Go to therapy and talk about the shit that plagues you so you can have healthy relationships. Love you, Kang. Be well. I fucking love it here. First off, y'all bitches is smart. This is the exact re- 
<laughs> I wish men would understand that emotional intelligence is so important because how much clarity, security it brings into your life. <laughs> The comment says, I wish men would understand that emotional intelligence is so important because of how much clarity slash security it would bring to your lives. Y'all think bitches just be talking in y'all ear just to be fucking talking. We don't. Y'all think bitches just want to argue with y'all because y'all refuse to expand your emotional vocabulary. We don't. It's I agree we're on that. It's to provide clarity for both us and y'all dusty bitches. Let me, let me stop. <laughs> This shit really truly irks me because when I say you need to expand your emotional vocabulary, it's so your life can be easier. Don't you want to be able to communicate with your bitch? I, I think, would. I think yes, right? Long gone are the days where you can just shut down. Bitch is okay. not tolerating that. Now that shut down shit, I could never deal with a man for that specific reason. That is at the top of the list. Niggas would be like, uh... All right, <laughs> what the fuck? I wouldn't be able to deal with a man anyway. But, you know, I get what she's saying about that part. Like, But also, I, got, I gotta say, if I was a man, I probably wouldn't want to tell a woman that neither because you ain't about to bring my vulnerability in my face. You know, like throw my vulnerability in my face. They don't trust women. Men do not trust women. That's why they always with their homeboys telling them shit. Because they can relate to them. They can really relate to me. They be sitting at the bar with me talking about your ass. You know what I'm saying? I be telling them, man, listen. <laughs> you ever try to talk to them? Man, if I do, she's just going to throw it back in my face. Men don't like that, y'all. Y'all got to stop that part. It used to be where men provided financially or with Schmeet and bitches Schmeet. can make their own self come and we can pay for our own shit. So I'm gonna need y'all to catch up I on agree. the emotional part. If a bitch is telling you, I need you to communicate more, open your fucking mouth. But you know what I realized? And let me, let me back up, let me back up. A common misconception about me as a clinician is that 90% of my clientele have been men. Black men specifically. And what we specifically- I see why she got fired. You telling too much, Frank. Work on is expanding their emotional vocabulary because a lot of y'all motherfuckers don't even have the words to express how you're feeling. So when you expand your vocabulary and knowledge of what you are experiencing because y'all are human beings who experience feelings and emotions and don't have to choke that shit down no more. Y'all ain't had to choke that shit down since 2016. Anyway, if y'all are not in therapy, expanding your emotional vocabulary, your life just off top is gonna be more difficult. When you expand your emotional vocabulary, you expand your awareness of yourself. When you expand your emotional vocabulary, you understand how you can navigate in this bitch. This I fucking agree. weird ass world that is so hard on y'all. Like, let's acknowledge that the world is very difficult for y'all, but y'all are not making it any easier, bro, bro. You're not. When bitches are telling y'all to go to therapy, it's not for us, it's for y'all sad motherfuckers. Go to therapy. Talk about that shit that's on your- You see how she's speaking to them? You know? That's not gonna make me wanna go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I want the truth, but have some, some class with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all the B words. And she just talking a lot. Chess, you don't have to choke that shit down no more. Y'all are doing a disservice to yourself. And so let me, let me, let me sum this shit up. Y'all told bitches to elevate our standards. And at the cost of us elevating y'all standards, y'all got axed because y'all didn't elevate either. Bitches are not tolerating emotional abuse, emotional neglect. Step it up. Go talk to somebody. Go expand your emotional vocabulary so your life can be better, bitch. All right. Go in peace. <laughs> A few moments later. Well, hello. It's your friendly neighborhood therapist who thought she could save these hoes, but got her job terminated as a result. Story time? I think yes. Should you not? I this bitch need to be a meteorologist. Oh, God. Posted a video on Monday <laughs> telling men that their dusty behavior is only harming them and that they would benefit from emotional intelligence. And I should you not by Friday didn't have employment. <laughs> All of this started with a Psychology Today article stating that men are lonelier than ever because they have no fucking emotional skills. And I agreed 
and doubled down and told y'all that y'all lives would radically improve if you expanded the shit that came out your mouth. But no, instead Brian. of healing, y'all will do. No, 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 no. You just called everybody a lot of motherfuckers and bitches. You know damn well if you a therapist coming out like this publicly, it's no way you thought that you was going to keep your job. You don't even know like how you were saying this shit. You know, that's, I think that that's crazy. Do anything but that. Instead of being accountable, like, hey, this bitch see me, I stirred a little bit, y'all got so hurt, so hurt that you contacted Massa. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what happened. So first the post goes viral on Twitter. Cause y'all need fucking help. And y'all wanted to argue with bitches blue till they fucking blew in the face. Some of you hoes is not gonna be saved. And that's the conclusion that I've come to. So because this shit's gone viral, I'm thinking, okay, cool. We started a discussion on mental health and people are, the, you might not like my fucking delivery, but motherfuckers is starting to talk, you know? Shaking the tables, I don't give a fuck. But then it turns into this entire crusade of attacking a black woman who serves the fucking black community. There were comments like, I'm gonna find her credentials and report her, cause I told y'all to be better. Yeah, y'all are fucking weird. Y'all scream that y'all want to protect women, protect black women specifically, but have done nothing to protect this black woman who has been serving the communities. I have been violated in several areas and I'm gonna outline each one. This article was written by a fucking black woman putting my full government Black America response to therapists who scolds black men for not going to school. And my place of employment. So being doxxed by a black woman can't fake kind of fucking hurts and she never once reached out to me or contacted me so I could spend my side of the story. This is the article that spooked my fucking job and got me fired. Not only did she not have any regard for my safety, many other articles have been written as a result. Here are a few of them, just to name a few. Black Twitter has words for therapists scolding men to go to fucking therapy. Y'all attacked me and got mad at me because I wanted better for y'all. No. The thing is, it, it wasn't even just the delivery. She was talking so bad about um, men. And it's like, it's like you had just went through something. You know what I'm saying? Like she had to have just gone through something because the way she was going in was just crazy. You know, what she don't understand is black men have feelings, you know? And some women, I, I feel like, well, first of all, putting her employment out and her um, full name and all that, that, that's a lot. You know, that was a lot. Uh, but yeah, but men have feelings. You know, and that's something I understand. I understand that about men. A, a lot of things, and I'm not a man. She, her. Um, the role that I play in, in my relationship and in, in my life is of dominance. And the way I'm even treated or I've been treated, I, I, don't, I don't even know how a man can deal. No cap. Nobody gives a damn about men on this earth. And that's that's terrible. And I feel like that's why they act the way they act, you know? But then it's a it's a downside to it because you know it's a choice. These men, a lot of these men do this and, and, and do the things that they do and they have no accountability for it. They just wanna do what they wanna do, you know? So it's it's a gift and a curse with this. Um but and that sucks that she had to go through this, but friend, you know. Ain't no way you, you went to school all this time for this and you decide to come on the internet and like really speak a way that you don't even speak, you know, in front of people. I just think that that's crazy. <laughs> like you wasn't doing this in the office of Maple and, uh, Maple and, and therapist. You know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make up a name and be funny. Yeah, y'all, it's sad. That's the most crab in the barrel bucket type bullshit I've ever heard in my fucking life. A plethora of black men decided to take it upon themselves to call my employment to get me fired. You succeeded, but you succeeded in not the way that you think. If it's one thing about black women is that we're incredibly resilient. This just cleared the table to give me space and opportunity to educate the masses while shaking our asses to healing because y'all got mad because I wanted you to do better. 
I was told they consulted with shareholders and decided to terminate my contract because I told y'all to go to therapy. That's the world we live in. Well, honestly, I don't feel as though she deserved all that. I don't. But if if her delivery was better, I feel like people would have heard her a little more. You know what I'm saying? And you went to school all them years. You know it's not what you say is how you say it. That was a mistake. And I feel like she should have kept that shit to herself. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, man. That was a mess. That's all I got. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.